Welcome, folks. I'm Jabby Kawai, joined by Char Kirk. What's up? And we are going to look at the Barbie teaser trailer, which just dropped. We're here in Colorado because Greg is getting married and, well, we had to come. Yeah. You know. So happy to be here. I wanted it to be a Zoom wedding and he refused. Said I had to be here because I'm his brother. The hell? You're only the best man. Yeah. Co-best man. Blood is overrated. Anyway, we're going to check this out. <laughs> So if the sound and the lighting's different, you understand why uh, we have less control in this environment. Anywho, uh, Barbie teaser trailer. If you guys haven't already, hit that subscribe button, please. Bell icon, all notifications, and pretty please vote this up. Let YouTube know you're enjoying what you're watching. Let's jump into this. Here we go. What? Since the beginning of time, since the first little girl ever existed, there have been the shoe. dolls. Yes. I but the dolls so many. were always and forever baby dolls. Until. <laughs> oh, wow. That is wild. I love the fun. Oh, just smash oh, you're just bye bye. Oh, I feel like that's most so people, sad, most people are not getting these references, but it's hilarious. Oh, <laughs> oh my god, I'm so stoked! Ow! Oh my god! Wow! Yes! Oh my god, I am so so excited for that and okay first of all I, do, I mean do you know that the first barbie image that they had like when when she was in there with the swimsuit and the sunglasses do you know which barbie that is the 1960s uh black and white edition well yeah it was like the classic for, i think that was the very first first, first advertised in life magazine was it really uh on page 42 no. Okay, fine. It, it was, was right next to a smoking ad. Yeah, probably. And <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, no, that's like the classic Barbie. The very first one with the like classic Barbie. With the pointy <laughs> boobs and and the, and the swimsuit and the curly fringe like they they made her look exactly like that. I love I love that. That was so cool. Does anyone is I'm wondering like how many young people saw that and understood all the references. It's from 2001 that, Space Odyssey. That's what I thought. That's the yeah. very opening of the movie. It was all these like pre-man creatures like running around doing stuff like monkeys and stuff. They uh -huh. weren't monkeys. They were like, you know, early man Neanderthals. And uh, there was a monolith that showed up. That's the Barbie here. And um, then violence ensued for some odd reason where they stood one like killed another or something like that. But here uh, they changed it into the doll. Into the doll. It's I mean, been a long time since I watched 2001 Space Odyssey, like years. So I'm vaguely recalling some of them. But yeah, I mean, what kid is going to see that or y even like. Do you think any of your girlfriends have seen 2001 Space Odyssey? I'm like, I'm, what, who's no, the movie like, for? But like right? the music, the music and, and the idea is so iconic. I've never seen two, the 2001 Space Odyssey, mm -hmm. but I, I knew the reference that yeah. they were referencing. It's there. just interesting you know to mean? me. It's interesting to me because I feel like even a lot of like just regular folk haven't seen that movie. You know, it's like right. it's a very cinephile kind of movie for people who are like our age. You know, it's I don't think that many people our age have seen it. It's more. Uh, yeah, I'm one of them. That's, that's, that's why it's so interesting to me that they went that direction. But I guess it's just funny. It's like even if you don't know the reference, it's funny. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I got kind of sad when they were killing their little baby dolls because yeah. like, I mean, I, I grew up playing with dolls. Barbie was my favorite. Mm -hmm. I used to play with Barbie like up until the age of 12, 13, which was oh, probably too. way too old. Yeah, me too. Yeah. What did you used to like to do with your Barbies? I can't say that on camera because then YouTube will demonetize this. Oh yeah, me too. Anyway, um, I, I mean, I'm so excited for this. I really enjoy Greta Gerwig as a director, so I'm glad that she's directing this. Having seen this teaser, I'm like, okay, I think I can get on board with the style. Seeing Ryan Gosling there, mm. just kind of looking amazing, Super Ken, I love it. Well, I don't think the 2001 Space Odyssey joke is actually in the movie. I think no, it's just for the commercial. It's just for the commercial, but yeah. it's giving you a sense of like the. the Tone. irreverent tone that it's going to have and yeah. so i am so stoked for it yeah yeah 
super excited. I need a trailer. I, need, I don't. I need a trailer. <laughs> I'm already like, I'm going to see this. I, I don't care. Like, I'm so excited. And also Margot Robbie has been choosing some really great projects recently. So, you know, because she's in this, Ryan Gosling is in this. One of my faves, Simu Liu is in this. I'm like, yeah. Do you think it would have been too on the nose if they brought in that song? I'm a Barbie doll. I'm a Wait for it for the for the trailer. Okay. I, I reckon. Okay. Why not? I mean, maybe it is a little bit too on the nose, but come on. Wouldn't we all just lose our damn minds if they started playing Barbie if Girl? If they recreated and then... the music video. <laughs> <laughs> just reach, redid the whole thing. I don't think they, they, I don't think those artists got a cent for that song, by the way. Why? Because they used the Barbie uh, I- iconic oh. uh, IP without actually getting permission first, they got sued into the ground. Oh so, shit! So like all the royalties for the song went to Bar- went to Mattel, I think. Oh. Yeah. But anyway. Well, boo. Yeah. But they definitely got the rights for this movie. So, yes. Um, I'm just excited to see all of the different things. Like, I want to see the dream car, the dream house. Um, like all the different types of Barbie, Malibu Barbie, just everything. I, I mean, I don't even know. You think they're gonna have all the different kinds of Barbies in there? Like the Hawaiian Barbie? Oh, I don't, I don't, maybe, maybe. They got Simu Lu in there. Yeah, they do have Simu Lu. And then there's music and dancing. There was, I'm, was I'm there all an, for this. Was there an Asian Ken doll that I don't know about? You know what? I don't know. I never played with an Asian Ken doll, but I did have an Aladdin doll that I loved. Mm. Yeah, he was a, he was my ethnic one. Gotcha. I had yeah. a Mulan Ken doll. You did? Yeah. What? His name is a Mulan though. How does that even work? <laughs> I, I had I'm... Aladdin and Jasmine, and I loved them. I know they're not technically Barbie; they're just like Disney dolls. But yes. Yeah. All right. Well, this has been fun. Hopefully, yeah. you guys enjoyed some of this nonsensical ramble. <laughs> At least from this side. Char is obviously more cohesive in her uh, presentation of ideas. Uh, so apologies. I just don't know. I, like, I don't have as much of a connection to Barbie, but it looks fun. Yeah. I mean, know? Barbie for me is just, it's my childhood. Like, right. I had a box of, I don't know how many Barbies, like over 20 Barbies. Yeah. And I adored the crap out of them. And, and I, your mom threw them out. Well, eventually I just kind of got too old and stopped playing with them. But like, I played them for a good long time. Like I said, I was playing them well into like age 13. And I used to like- How would that be if you were like on a date with someone and you went over to the girl's place for the first time? Let's play a game. Oh yeah, what kind of game? I didn't know you are into games. I'm into games. We're gonna simulate with Barbie dolls. Oh. Is it gonna be kinky? What? Ew, no. no. They're just gonna be hanging out, having tea and coffee and stuff. It's always kinky. Come on now. <laughs> what? Okay, you you just ask my best friend. That's enough. That's enough. <laughs>